Hi guys, my name is Indigo and welcome to my channel. So if y'all didn't notice, which y'all probably didn't, I dyed my hair. I wanted rose gold and I ended up leaving with dark brown red. So you could say that my confidence is plummeting. But anyways, today I'm going to be doing a Romero Brito. I had to look at the screen because I don't know this man's name. Romero Brito's art pieces. He's like the super famous Hispanic artist or something like that. I don't even know. Everywhere you go in Miami, there's at least one picture just lying around or on a wall, on a purse, on somebody's hair. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to let y'all know a little bit more about me because y'all really want to know more about me. I don't know why. So I'm just going to start off by sketching out the drawing with a Kylie lip liner. I'm only using this because I have it lying around. This is pretty expensive. Don't go and buy it just to sketch out. You can literally just use any lip liner or anything. But So a couple of you have been asking me to talk more about myself. This already ran out. Oh my god. And I think the best way for me to open up is to explain why I haven't actually ever talked about myself. Also, this look is going to be a one-way illusion, which means it's going to look good from this angle and then everywhere else, it's going to look a little weird. I'm going to start by filling in this section with clown white. So I think we all know that 2019 was not my year. It was definitely the craziest year for me. Like, you know when people are always like, Oh my god, this year was so bad. No, like this year was like, bad. But then I'm also confused because a lot of really good things also happened in 2019. So I just had a lot of high highs and low lows. And especially with moving like across the country, I literally have like no friends. That sounds so sad. That's like why I don't talk about it. I've literally never had the opportunity to go out just cause I'm always doing makeup and everybody always tells me to take a break. But like I'm like the type of person like when I have a vision and I have a goal, I literally cannot take a break until I am at that goal because I feel like I'm wasting my time. So if I actually do take a vacation or a break, I will get even more stressed because I'm not working on what I need to work on. So that's fun. Next I'm going in with the yellow. And obviously I do miss my friends, but at the same time, it feels like I left just yesterday. Like I really can't believe that it's already been six whole months since I moved here. Like I literally actually become a hermit and I, I, I don't even know how. But honestly, I feel like I'm perfectly okay with that because I kind of like mentally prepared myself for this step in my life. Had I not, I probably would have gone insane by now. You know, not that I'm sane. But anyways, so like since I don't really have any friends, I don't really go out ever. Therefore, I don't really have anything going on in my life. So it's not really like I'm hiding anything or I don't want to like say stuff about me. It's just like I literally have nothing going on in my life right now. And you know, I would talk about my past and I will talk about my past eventually. But 2019 has been so bad and I just, I really want my channel to be either informative, funny, or lighthearted. Like I never want it to be like super sad, depressing, or shady. If you're looking for tear drama, this is not the channel. The only thing shady here is our humor, but... So that's why I've like held back. This yellow matches my hoodie perfectly. Next I'm using lime green in the hills. So yeah, I never wanna make it sound like I'm complaining or like whining on my channel. Cause like who wants to watch somebody whine, you know? Like, not me. So instead I've been focusing on showing you guys my makeup and my makeup skills and just having fun. But I guess I'll just find a healthy balance in between and show you guys like all aspects of my life, whether it be good or bad, because at the end of the day, knowing that somebody else is going through something is also really, really validating for people. Cause honestly, not everybody's life is perfect. Mine isn't. <laughs> Being able to watch people that you can relate to is honestly better than probably watching somebody that looks like e -R -E. <laughs> Don't know what that means, but y'all get me. Next, I'm gonna dip into the turquoise, teal, green, this color. Um, and I'm just gonna put it in. Oh my. We'll go back and fix that later. I'm just drawing a heart in this little area cause that's what the picture shows. I should probably be using another brush, but I like to live on the edge. Next, I'm using the dark green and I'm just gonna make the hills in the back. That was not a hill. That was the sun. Cha. 
Now I'm just gonna paint this entire cheek pastel blue. And another reason also held me back from like talking about myself was that the way that I'm acting right now is the way that I act in person with my friends, with my family. What you see is what you get. So it's like a lot scarier to open up because when I do get like negative comments and stuff, I can't hide behind a persona. Those hate comments hurt a lot more because they're not coming for my persona, they're coming for me, and I'm just like, ouch. And like obviously, I'm like the new kid on the block, like I have to get used to it, like everybody goes through that stuff. I'm not special, I just have to get used to it. Also, some of y'all have been requesting a different background. I got you, I ordered it, now we just sit back and wait. I read y'all comments, I read all your feedback. Y'all are so sweet and so cute. And if you guys have suggested a look, definitely just be on the lookout for it because I have definitely added it to my list. I'm just going in with a brown shade, which honestly is very close to my skin color apparently. And I'm just making like the brown hills. There is no way this is actually going to be my skin tone. That's like really similar to my skin tone. We'll just wait for it to oxidize. Next, I'm gonna use a dark purple right here. Oh, she said full coverage. And then next, I'm gonna start adding the red to the hearts and the sun. Okay, so I just finished the rest of the bodies off of camera because I felt like I was taking way too long on the bodies. Now we're gonna start adding the details. I'm gonna start off with the dark blue dots and the stripes. Alrighty y'all, we're starting to get into that part of the makeup look when I start focusing a lot and I'm just like... I'm gonna grab the pastel blue paint, I'm gonna make little blue dots. And now I'm grabbing the dark green, I'm gonna make green dots here. And I'm gonna grab this little dense brush and I'm gonna dip into the brown shade. And we're gonna make stripes. Next I'm going into the hot pink and I'm gonna make little flower shapes. Dipping into that really pretty dark purple shade, I'm just gonna make like the bud. Next I'm gonna grab one of my little more precise gray brushes and I'm going to dip into the gray and I'm gonna make little squigglies throughout all of my white. Next I'm gonna use the clown white to create the same pattern on this side of my face. Okay, so now that we're done with all the details, I'm gonna start adding the black Miron cream paint to finally start lining and making everything official. <laughs> I need like patience and silence for this one, so this is definitely going to be a cutscene. I just spilled water all over my lap. That took a little longer than expected. But it's Gucci. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm gonna use the black eyeshadow from the Makeup Revolution palette, just like always. Going to do my eyeshadow next. I'm gonna be using the red cream paint. And I'm just like gonna go with whatever happens at this point. I'm like 90% positive that this said not to put the red shade around your eyes, but I'm already blind. I'm just gonna pack some red eyeshadow on the eyelid because at the same time I also don't want to get this too close to my eye. I'm just gonna keep it light and simple and I'm just going to add some NYX eyeliner. I made my liner just a little bit bolder than usual just because everything else is so thick and black. Um, please don't take that out of context. I just decided to thicken it out and I totally didn't just mess up on my liner and make it thicker. Yeah. I'm just going to use my L'Oreal mascara. Oh, y'all heard. 
So I'm just gonna do the other eye off the camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I finished the other eye and now I'm going to do my lips. And honestly, I'm going to keep it very simple because you guys know what happens when I try to venture out with lipsticks, it never works. So I'm just gonna stick to my tried and true Kylie Jenner One Wish. I can't find my terrifying concoction of like bacteria in a lip gloss bottle, where is it? We found her. Alrighty, so this is the final look. I am so pleased with how this turned out. This is absolutely stunning. I'm genuinely shocked that I, I look like this. And honestly, the thick eyeliner really just like ties it together. I was gonna add contacts, but I really don't think I'm gonna add any contacts. I really like the brown on brown contrast. Alrighty, so there you have it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about me and I'm really glad that we were able to talk about why I wasn't talking about myself in the past because I really feel like that is a very important stepping stone into getting me to open up a little more and for you guys to understand where I'm coming from. So if you guys like my energy, if you guys like my art, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys don't already, please go follow me on my Instagram and I will see you guys in the future. Key with the montage.